the world's still losing the miner year after year. And for me, a number greater than zero, it should be unacceptable. Nhóm Pika để ta nấu Pika đỏ min. Để dùng đằng thạc luôn như ta bàn rô thế, dẫn cái này ta ta tu min thì slap à. We really don't know how many uh, landmines were laid. The estimation may be four, six million mines laid. We have cleared uh, around about one million mines. At the present moment, we have about 1,900 square kilometers of contaminated land remaining in Cambodia. That's roughly three times the size of Singapore. You hear that click? That's it. If you take a look at the mine itself, the detonator here will require a pressure, and that is all it takes. After the mine being detected, the miner needs to go in there and investigate. And usually what that means is having a hand shovel with some other tools, gardening tools. Ridiculous. That is the tool that they're going with. So what I want to do is to take the shovel out of their hand and put this robot in use so that they can know that if something were to go wrong, it's not their limbs, it's not their lives, it's metal that will need to be replaced. It can take up to 15 minutes or more to dig out a landmine. This robot, we aim to do it in under five minutes. If a village were to take five years to clear, and we can do so in one year. That means hundreds of lives are being saved. The whole idea of a robot that a guy built in his garage was something quite different. It's totally against the tradition where you have big military companies or big governments trying to develop their own technology for this. This is a small guy uh, with a big heart and then trying to build his own robot. 